Hey guys, we're back with another live performance from Diana. Anku de Nova. Diana Anku de Nova. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. We've got cranes. Cranes. And once again, it's live at Poklonaya Hill. Sad song. But Diana sings it very beautifully. Without any further ado. All right, let's go. He got chills when she just started doing a man. So uh, I'm still trying to follow the story. I know it's talked about fallen soldiers. Um, it mentioned fallen soldiers uh, being carried in cranes, so to speak, uh, or carried, yeah, like cranes. And uh, yeah, man, this seems like a very powerful song that's paying homage to uh, those who who fought for you know freedom. Um, so yeah. I still, you know, got to hear how the story develops, but uh, so far, so good. She sounds really, really mellow. Nothing crazy yet. Um, I definitely hope she can take it there at some point in the song just so this crowd can wake up. Because uh, as a fan, I'm over here like, this is unacceptable. <laughs> Okay, she said the, the lyric says the day will come when my crane companions will swim together through the sea of sound uh so yeah this is definitely talking about the fallen soldiers and how uh they will uh meet again so to speak man it's just you know it's unfortunate you know to have to, to even to fight that fight um man life is just so precious you only get one of these things you only get one chance at this thing called life and to have to risk it doing that is um one commendable and we appreciate you know always appreciate those who who fight for your freedom uh fight for your rights mm -hmm. I think so. Can she get any more beautiful? That is the question. I mean, seriously, let's all take a moment and ponder and just think about this seriously. <laughs> Can Deanna get any more beautiful? And it's just like she... She just keeps getting more and more beautiful every day. That's incredible. All right.
sabe? Wherever you go in the world, man, everybody has their phones up. It's crazy. Filming everyone again. Very good, very good. get deep man and oh my god the messages and stuff and the stuff that she chooses to sing about is just incredible and i'm like wow there you have it i mean i guess then she's gonna sing spark after this one uh very calm song again minimal instruments just like you know the uh the piano maybe like some synths over there um very calm very very relaxing i don't know the lyrics it sounded sad i don't know if it's true or not but it sounded very like chill you know what i'm saying that was a beautiful song, you know what I'm saying? I, like, as I always say, her voice is amazingly unique. I love it. I love it! Such a, a beautifully sad song, man. Beautifully sad. Shout out to Deanna, man. Shout out to Deanna. That was uh, one of the most mellow performances that I've seen from her. Uh, like I said, I would have loved to see her take it up a, a notch, you know, crescendo it, but, you know, the song wasn't for that, this this the song wasn't too show crazy, ain't range and nothing like that. It was to get a clear message across, very eerie, uh, monotone. It wasn't really uh, too much variation outside of the um, the Vox like sound she was making. The ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, but yeah, man. Nonetheless, it's still Diana, and she's incredible. Fearless. <laughs> 